day on shout out. Subscribe, like. Alright, what it do y'all, this is your boy Pat coming at y'all once again and welcome to another episode of Shoutouts. And in this episode, we're shouting out Scribe Light. Now, I met Scribe Light, as you can see, you know, along with SDA and Rent Monkey through the live streams that they do on a daily basis, which I enjoy every time they have them. Be up in the live stream, you know, listen to them, you know, talk about, you know, today's issues, whether social or whether going on in the world today and all that right there. And it just makes such an interesting topic because they sit up there and they put their salve on everything. But besides their daily streams, you know, Scribe, his channel right there is like, I don't know, he comes off of me as one of those philosophical, you know, like Aesop, you know, scholars, man. Like, you know, he gets really into like a issue and just tackles it head on. And when he's doing response videos, he'll basically like take what the people are like saying, you know, especially like when it comes to the little snowflake SJWs where be trying to like um, sugarcoat what they be basically saying. But he'll just, you know, respond to it by, oh, so what you're saying is, you know, such and such and this and that, you know, he's actually saying what they're saying in secret code. But he's just basically telling you out. And then he'll end it with, got it. Like I said, I like that right there. That should be your catchphrase right there. You should put that on a t-shirt, scribe. <laughs> but like I said, man, he has awesome, I mean, straight up awesome content. And like I said, if you haven't seen a stream with him, Rant Monkey, and SDA yet, where the hell have you been? They're one of the most excellent live streams out there man and i love them i hardly miss anyone if i do i gotta be busy or something with my children or what whatever but it's like i haven't missed one yet it's like whether it's on his rant monkeys or sda's channel but i digress but to give you all a little taste of what i'm talking about you know like here he is man scribe light one of the coolest people i've come to know and i'm glad rant monkey you know recommended me to you man keep doing what you're doing but anyway, this is your boy Pat is always saying, peace, and I'm out. Roll it, scribe. Toy Soldiers. Executive Decision. Invasion USA. The Peacemaker. True Lies. Air Force One. These are just a handful of the movies that come to my mind when I think of the word terrorist. My notion of terrorist growing up was the stock villain for the hero to defeat. The bad guys with hostages. Or a bomb. Or hostages with bombs wired to the chairs they were tied to. For every cheesy action movie, there was a terrorist plot. And there were more terrorist plots on screen than really happened in the real world. As I got older, of course, my cartoonish notion of what movie terrorism was, compared to real terrorism, faded quite a bit. But still, the notion of grand, elaborate, supervillain scale plots remained the stuff of Van Damme and Schwarzenegger. And then, as it did for all of us, came 9-11. That day, I thought I was watching a movie. It couldn't be real, after all. That kind of destruction? It had to be a special effect. And now it is mid-2017. And... Without much hyperbole, terrorist attacks of the kind that used to be screenplay fodder occur nearly every day, in the West, in the Middle East, and in so many other places. The thinnest of silver linings, for the sake of my humanity, I suppose, is that I have not become completely inured to the horror of it all. Each breaking story about another bombing, or stabbing, or a truck barreling through a crowd makes my heart sink. The madness is constant now. The counterpoints of humanity and charity in each aftermath is a bittersweet victory. But it goes on and on and on, without end, with no end in sight. With each new incident, draped over all of my feelings of sadness and horror and anger, is the unending sense of helplessness. Because it's a line from another movie that keeps popping into my head lately. A line that, in context of the film, is meant to inspire, meant to be a rallying cry for hope. And yet at the same time, 
It underlines the reality of so much of what is happening lately. Beneath this mask is an idea, and ideas are bulletproof. I don't have a solution. I don't have any words to inspire. The usual rhetoric all rings hollow in the face of one attack after another. I'd like to counter that bad ideas inevitably fail and fade away, but we're still fighting bad ideas from over 1400 years ago. So, why bother with this sullen rant? Why complain about horrible events that, at this point, occur with the same regularity and with about as much preventative attributes as natural disasters? Catharsis of a kind, I suppose. Maybe something I can come back to in the future and be reminded about the bad old days from when things are much, much better. I, I don't know. I honestly, I just don't know. As always, thank you for listening. Next time a shout out. Rat and Monkey.